since since we are now more cost conscious that we look like into the the different um different services we pay for in aws uh and they're like where we would make sense to actually find some different solutions but also like we needed to make sure that like we don't compromise data integrity. We don't compromise reliability and and uh, other other pieces that are important to us. For the logs being sent directly to the, uh, to Datadog, is something we need to be a little bit careful about. Because when you look back to you know, like roughly a year ago, so we had logs in two different places, and we would have logs in CloudWatch, and we had them also in uh, Elasticsearch or or OpenSearch instance. But since the OpenSearch instance was not given that much um, love, so that one was flaky. So it would sometimes happen that like not all logs would end up in open search. So that's why developers then would use like as a as a backup solution, the uh, CloudWatch as a uh, as a place where to look for logs. And then when we switched from open search into Datadoc, then we were still running two in parallel, right? So we first would look everything to CloudWatch, and from CloudWatch we would use uh, Datadoc for other that would like send the logs to to Datadoc logs. And then like we needed to build trust in the organization that Datadoc logs is something that we can believe in. So we don't need the backup solution in CloudWatch because at the time we were paying basically for two different solutions while we were using only one. So it took us quite some time until we we built the trust and we saw like the data doc uh, logs is is a robust uh, is a robust solution we can use and we don't need the failover one. Uh, so then it was only about how do we how do we update the technical solution so that we can send the logs directly from from Fargate and we don't need to use CloudWatch. And that's where we looked into uh, into Fireland and uh, together with um, uh, basically introducing the new container that is running as a sidecar to the application and to the other containers that, that we have uh, in, in ECS. And that's the one that is getting the logs from the application container and then is forwarding to the Datadoc API.